All right, so my friends, welcome. We're trying out a, uh, a pretty awesome looking uh, deck. This is from a, a Japanese tournament. I know it's a meme, uh, but I saw it on Twitter. Thanks, Fire Shoes. I couldn't even tell you what tournament it was because uh, the, the tweet was in Japanese, but the deck looked really, really cool. And I want to give it a spin. This is a very aggressive version of uh, a Gruul deck, kind of like a hybrid of the Picnic Ruiner deck that I was playing earlier uh, with a dinosaur deck. Uh, kind of cool to see dinosaurs in like a, you know, not a bajillion dinosaurs, just four hammer skulls, four yearlings. And then a couple of the uh, the firstborns here, which is a really, really good card. And other than that, that's it. You know, so a little bit of dinosaur synergy here. Four chomps, going to be shocked sometimes. We can kill Shouldered also with this thing. We get Huntsman Redemption, which is a pretty awesome uh, awesome uh, card that hasn't seen too much play yet. Kamado, Scout, Eater of Virtue. Obviously awesome with our Picnic Ruiners. And uh, just get just got to get in the beats in here, honestly. You know, pump the power and fling. Hammer Skull, attack for six, fling. Pretty awesome. So pretty cool. Cyborg got four Urbress Forge for the uh, mid-range matchups. Pretty kind of awesome. Deck seems sweet. Let's give it a spin. Brought to you by BCWSupplies.com. I'm playing in the RC next month, folks. And guess what? My deck's in those sleeves right there, like all my decks are. These are the BCW Elite 2 deck card sleeves, best sleeves in the market. You can get them uh, pretty cheap, honestly. Uh, if you buy them in bulk, uh, if you buy them on the website. Use my promo code for Gym10 and buy like a 10 pack so they get the bolt disc discount to like $6 a pack. So buy a case. Obviously, you need sleeves. You're a magic player. So it's all you're not going to not sleeve, need sleeves at some point. So buy yourself a, a, a box of those. Check out the card, the deck box, inner sleeves, binders, card sorting trays. I use it all. BCWsupplies.com except for the inner sleeves. Uh, promo code Gym10 to have your order. BCWsupplies.com. Check it out. On the play, chat. Coming out with me. Double Chomp Yearling. All right. We do these, uh, these ridge lines here, but. Restless ridge line. Definitely uh, some cool stuff in uh, Ixalan for constructed. All right, ridge line it is. Punt ball against six. Be playing uh, Rafine's Tower, sure. All right, go get him, buddy. We have one naked dinosaur, and that is it. No! I'm simply saying that life uh, finds a way. All right. Looks like uh, lay down arms. Oh boy, that's that's a good card against us. All right. Here's a scout. We got so unfortunately our trumpet chomps are dreadful against them. They're a control deck, and these cards are just terrible. So we have a, a basically about the worst hand imaginable. Uh, just six lands and two blanks. So this is gonna be a tough game one here. I'm not gonna lie. Up the Beanstalk. It is interesting to not see the card Agatha's Soul Cauldron this deck. Of course, I've played a number of Soul Cauldron and Fling, uh, Fling Guy decks. This is just a joke. All right. Come on. Let's get real here. All right. Um, we can't besage your ramp them. It's just terrible. So, all right. Yeah, we'll just stack for one. We have the Ridge Line next turn, but it's pretty gross. It's a pretty gross first game, isn't it? It is. But yeah, Thrill Seeker plus Cauldron is obviously insane. So, could definitely maybe see Cauldron in this deck, but we'll see. A little more straightforward beatdown deck. Beanstalk number two. So, do they have a... I guess it's pretty cool that binding can't hit the ridge line. So, it's a little bit of a... Obviously, they definitely have binding here for sure. Uh, binding can hit my token, like, really, really well. I was at a jam with the ridge line, honestly. This is a pretty good attack. So we just attack with these. And this pumps up the scout, right? They got binding my scout. I mean, I guess it just draw two. It's just one mana draw two. Still pretty good, right? All right. Well, I mean, uh, what are we going to do? Here's the ridge line. Attack. Your turn. Again, double chop here. Almost blank against them. Did I see that the commander discovered dinosaurs in his store for some reason? I don't even know what that card is. Don't even know. Redemption. Alright, so we get the double redemption here. Uh, if you bean and Beseju, we're literally just ramping them. Like in their like rampy deck, you know, just not worth it at all. They've already drawn a card off it also, so it's my it's my it's literally a a a a, a one for three. They got two cards off their card, and then we're using one of our cards, so pretty bad uh exchange of resources. Double huntsman here and just say go. So, this card's pretty sweet, honestly. So, you get two three threes, and uh, probably not attacking a creature here, but it's fine. Then we have the chapter three. We can uh, respond to, in, in our draw step, activate the ridge line and then pump it, which is kind of cool as well. 
They go binding this, then cast Sunfall. We're going to concede. Again, double mulligan here already. And instead of Wandering Emperor, sure. So, a very Plains heavy version of uh, Domain ish. Could just be like a control deck, honestly. Just playing all the, the Triumphs for the. Uh, up. Yep, there we go. All right, well, we'll pack it up and go to game two here. That's a pretty bad draw on our part, and a pretty good draw on their part, so. Try and lay some beats. Um, Herb asks Forge. Seems pretty clutch here. Cut all four chomps and bring in four Forges. That does stock us up on four, on three drops a little bit, but I think that just kind of is what it is. We have Tyvar stands. Maybe that Redemption's not very good against them. We got to cut a four, I think. Just cut the Redemption's. We'll cut two of those. Tyvar stand good against Binding. Yeah, this is fine. Definitely not thrilled about the matchup, but let me shave one eater for a Haywire Might also. Let's try this. Alright, on the play. Uh, this hand's great. This hand slaps. Alright. Ah. Uh, we're attacking for like a bajillion on turn three. All right, so throw back just another another other expensive cards. Like we already have a bunch of three drops in our deck. All right, so uh, I mean this this is the, the actual Stone Cold Nuts. This is turn two four three. If this thing lives, you can play Hammer Skull, attack for seven, and then we get to fling the Hammer Skull in theory. So just no laid on arms or binding your players or whatever. They have laid on arms. God. Unfortunately, Eight on Arms was really good against us. Just like Sword Splash, just against our freaking Dinosaur deck, but... Alright, we draw the Forge. Um, I think we're going to Forge here, because we don't have another Dinosaur for Hammer Skull anyway, so... Let's get the Forge going. It's good against uh, Sunfall, obviously, so attack for three of his turns. Still a pretty good draw, even with the Sword Splashers. Man, they are... They, are, they came ready, folks. They came prepared. All right, so get the Forge going. The Hammer Skull also. Yeah, there's like blue-white control with a bunch of dual lands to play the uh, the, the bindings. So you draw land. Uh, fire up the Forge. Play Hammer Skull. Maybe a little Mighty action. A little Mighty Might. Gonna syncopate the hammer skull. Sure, you got it. Alright, so we say go. We got the thrill seeker. Yeah, and, and green for beans, yes. Yeah, so there's like blue they're like blue eye control splashing beans. Sunset revelry. God. Man, I have never seen a more prepared opponent for like a, a red based aggro deck than our opponent right now. Sword splashers, knockout blow, revelry, binding, sunfall, just everything. Um. All right, let's just bang this uh, this haywire might up and just attack. We're like, we we need to be like, just going here. We've got you know little chance as far as in the long game goes. So, miss the land drop, which is good. Pretty good jam here, honestly, with the forge. Uh, I think the new set is great. Thanks to the resub there, uh, eighty three. Also Rayborn, new sub, which anyway from welcome to pile drivers. Holiday cards coming up, folks. You got to hear a pile driver. Join the join the join the pile drivers. Get your holiday card and a free token. So there you go. We lose our fling ability, but whatever. Got the Mirix too. So we have some tools here at least. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -da -da. We are the Borg. Cole and I have been watching Star Trek Voyager as our nighttime show. Just encountered the Borg. No! They have March too? Oh my god, they have everything. Alright, um, that's devastating. This is like our one ace in the hole against them. Oh my god. Alright, sure. You're killing me here. Uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes your opponents come to game, you know? What can I, what can I say? All right, here's a scout. Let's, try, let's hit, the, hit a creature land maybe or something? I don't even know. Ignite Ruiner will stay on top. Yeah, sometimes your opponents come to game, folks. I don't have to tell you. 
They are stuck on Lance. So like, we still we still have a slow chance this game. Their hand can help you like, you know, like three lay line bindings and just not do anything. Alright, so Mirix is clu is clutch here too. Alright, I mean if they have a freaking uh if they have a uh what's it called here? A syncope or something like that, it'd be sad, but Picnic Groner, yeah, we're we're in folks. I think we're kind of in. Zach. Screw your picnic! Dub blocks, sure. All right. Down to 11. Ruiner also and Mirix. The only problem is if we win game two, if, 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 if they actually play game three, which kind of sucks. Uh, but, all right, let's tag for two. So now we can play, we're playing Kimono. Do we play the Ruiner this turn, or just Mirix? Because we can play Ruiner next turn and get the counter. I think I should wait. Just get the Mirix token. It's only worth it's worth one more damage to play Ruiner, but it's better next turn. So, all right, they draw a headquarters. Now they have binding up. Scout. It's funny. I, I actually kind of want to keep Mirixing, and not even bother playing the Ruiner. Just play Scout, get a counter, have have this up. Let's stack. They could, in theory, uh, Sunfall next turn, air up a land, too, so... Add a counter. Alright, so... Scout reveals a Thrill Seeker. Keep that one on top. Alright. I think we're, I think we're there, folks. Despite all of this, I think we're there. Alright, so they have a... Wandering Emperor. They're still just dead. I think we pre-combat on the Scout, which is the, one, the thing they're going to Emperor. It's dead anyway if this works also, so... Alright. Jam. What's up, Scooter? Love the series, been following on YouTube. Awesome, my friend. Happy to have you. Upstairs! Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate it. Happy Sunday, folks. Alright, so now unfortunately we're going to play Game 3, but... Um... Anything we can do here? Like, sideboard-wise? Not really. Honestly. Just is what it is. Bring your own Shrapnel Blast. We missed it. We were playing Shrapnel Blast on our last deck. Explore. That was fun. Hype Train is close. Hype Train is close. Twitch, folks. Why well, see if you can uh, pull that one off. Huh? Come on. All right, sure. Keep this. I mean, I ship a Thrill Seeker. This is pretty bad. All right. Uh, yeah. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Inc. Dot com. Dot com. Promo code Jim Five, folks. Let's go. All right. Uh, headquarters. Yeah. Just play Haywire Might. It's not ideal, but sure. Get the the hammer skull here. I'll lay the hammer down if possible. Again, opponent's playing just literal white removal tribal, which is insane against us. Do I do deck doctors? Yep, deck tax ten bucks. Ten buck donation. I will look over your deck on stream for five minutes and give you advice on it. Alright, sack for one. I mean, like, unfortunately being stuck on lands here is very bad for our Tyvar stands. It's hard to leave the mana up, but make disappear, sure. Meeches! McNally resubs! Hype train level two. Alright, cool. I love you guys. Here's a land. I should have hammer skull. Alright, put the hammer skull. Try to get a shot in. You gonna syncopate me? Go ahead. Sure. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Also, one year for me, just thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Alright, tap land. Alright, well, you know what time it is, folks? Freaking bone splitter time. That's what time it is. Raise your hand, chat, if you're a boomer. I remember Bone Splitter. YouTube folks, comment as well. Where my Bone Splitter gamers at? Sword of Fire and Ice? Nah. Umazawa Shite? Nah. It's all about Bone Splitter. Alright. Command and Conquer got me. Yeah, we got the real boomer. I thought the Bone Splitter was a boomer uh, reference. We got the Command and Conquer reference too. Thanks, Zodiac. You're great. Acknowledged. Alright, here's Beanstalk. 
Um, Trinket Mage for a bonus letter multiple times? Hell yeah. All right, we're going to get Sunfall to Oblivion, but sure. Um, yeah, what am I going to do? Attack. So we play the Pug thing. It gets a counter. It probably untap in Sunfall. Then I get to have a Haster and a Thrill Seeker and a Bone Splitter. Damn, that's big. Oh my God, Becky. Imagine if I was just regular Dino B, Dino with four Cavern Souls. I mean, they have, they have much more mobile than counter spells. Probably have like five or six counter spells. Luckily, they have like a thousand removal spells, so. All right, so. 11. I mean, there's a chance you can win this game. Flip this thing, bone splitter it. Should I get our fling on, honestly? All right, I mean, second sunfall and we're probably dead, but let's try it. Oh, bone splinters? Eh, bone splinters is no bone splitter. The most diabolical haters this side of the Mississippi. Soak is on. All right. I mean, play Thrill Seeker. Put the counters here. All right. I'm just going to say go. They're effectively at five, or four, I mean. With Bone Splitter, they are dead on board in theory. We have t a defensive spell and an eater. Revelry. That's bad. Yeah, okay. No longer lethal, but sure. Imagine if Eater was a cauldron. Um, yeah. That'd be pretty good. Alright, so untap. Draw scout. Okay. So let's just uh I mean if I equip an attack, they're just gonna they're blocking anyway. I should they have this thing too, so I have to uh, that's bad. Alright, so Let's play, let's play Scout first, see what happens. Start there. All right, explore. Top card is Picnic Ruiner. Is that better than a random card? I think so. Yeah, put this here. Let's attack. We have a Tyvar stand, so. Alright, they're gonna block. So they dub block. Triple block. Interesting. Um. I feel like I'm somewhat inclined to just let this happen. Like, if I go for Tyvar stand, they have a removal spell. It is devastating. Um, I guess it's fine. Let me just move the uh, move the bone splitter over. All right, so eater exiles that one also. So still no abilities on the eater, but let me just put this here. Tie our stand up. Get the picnic runner on top also. We could stand. The thing is that we said we could stand and fling if they kill it, but like then they have a huge board still. Like now at least we're on an empty board. All right. Just trying to find this damage, you know. All right, here we go. Let's attack. Keep a tie of our stand. Here's a binding. They draw a card. Awful. All right. So we fire up tie of our stand. X equals one. So we can cast our picnic ruiner. Might have a retrick here, obviously, but what am I going to do? You know? Pretty hard, uh. Pretty hard matchup. Syncopate X equals four. Oh my god. Uh, Hello, darkness. Tell their own Murex lay down. Yeah, just a pretty brutal matchup, folks. Not sure what to tell you. All right, we do have a. Uh, Mirix plus Eater, which is pretty good, but. Alright, so, yeah. Um... Man. Lay down a harm's revelry to populate Sunfall. 
Even at the Besiege. All right, we're done. We're tapping out. All right, we're tapping out. All right, tough matchup. We stole a game. I mean, we were in that game for sure. But yeah, pretty tough. Uh, pretty tough games. Try it again on the play. This hand's dope. Kamano Yearling Thrill Seeker. Rest has caught it. Oh man! Oh man! Our hands the stones. The stone cold nut here. All right, play a freaking like two two or something. Mistress Foundry, underdog. All right. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is the hand that dreams are made of. This is uh, making up for our last game. What's up, Unit Resub? Long time resub. Uh, yeah. We'll have a seven. We'll attack for nine on turn three, and exile their underdog. So we take uh, that much, they're at 12. And then I have Hasted, uh, I have Hasted Ravage Chupacabra next turn. Oh my God, oh God. Oh, sorry, I, I mistimed it. No, Jim, I tried to time the drop and I, I mistimed it. I won the game, but I lost the content war. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so a little better than last match, right? Let's just start with this one. Glissa again. Yeah. Uh, duress. Sorry. Just bad news here. Just bad news for you, my friend. Uh, turn five kill. Easy game. Uh, all right. Opponent's uh, black green mid range. So we're going to want to bring in, let's see, I'd like to cut an Eater of Virtue. I mean, oops, that must have been really loud, sorry. Uh, Warcrafting for Shielder is interesting. Uh, the Forges are also kind of interesting, because uh, definitely kind of a grindy matchup. Huntsman Redemption doesn't seem super good against them, honestly. This card seems kind of like iffy in general. Bring the four Forges. And then I kind of want these Warcraftings. Do we shave, like, a Chomp? Chomp's not super reliable as far as killing shoulder and stuff. So, our chomp, our cherry chomp, our cherry cherry chomp. Try this. Ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. A little faster than the last game, right? Playing some standard. Trying out some dinos. Very aggro dino deck. Came from Japan. Found it on the internet. Uh, all right, I mean, not as good as our last hand, obviously, but still fine. All right, getting better. Belligerent yearling. They're gonna they're gonna draw the card and not play the creature. Sure. Dino time. A little rude, but sure. Uh, hammer skull. Oh, we discard here. Probably the ruiner. Yeah, probably the ruiner. Alyssa. Okay, this is good. It's a scar picnic ruiner. Drop it. Um, trying to find a land in our top few cards here. Top two cards for a land. Yes, please. All right, play the land. I guess we're going to kill Liliana here. We, we, I think going to get stunned, but whatever. Just a big, dumb idiot getting stunned. Still worth it, though. Delay. Nothing more. We draw a land and go Yearling and Hammer Skull. They're going to adventure again? Man, they got no fear of Shakespeare. Sure. All right, let's draw land. Land and all spells. Step one. Collect underpants. And help build gnomes. All right. Dubs Hammer Skull and Thrill Seekers. They got Fatal Push or whatever. Not Fatal Push, cut down. Sure. All right. I mean, they got two cards left. We have two six sixes. So. Play Dread Knight. Play Land.
Tilt. One card left. No more dinosaurs for us, unfortunately. Not even a land either. That sucks. Is the land a dinosaur? All right, so we let them attack because we tap. We we sack the tap one. Kind of like I just click, click, click too fast. I think it's like almost fine for us, but all right. So mystery points of damage. They're kind of bad. I just I just click too fast. I'm still gonna attack here though. Even though it gets tapped, we can fling it next turn. With two flings in our hand, we just want to like I think put them lower in life. So. So come in, get stunned. They'll block, do the, do the whole life thing, which is fine, I think. Just take some damage, you know. They have Besager here. That would be pretty freaking annoying. They should have done, done a pretty combat there, right? All right, let's get it for one. This thing dies. They can adventure it. Get our forge going. I'm a big fan of the forge. The forge is awesome. All right, so lose life. Go to 16. Now they have a lot of cards in their hand. Another cottage. Attack for three. Self mill beanstalk that draws off tolerance. Oh, oh, that's pretty cool. The big expensive uh, graveyard cards. All right, so we play Glissa. I'm wish to throw seeker and kill Glissa, right? So play throw seeker. No cut down here, please. That'd suck. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Oh my god. Their last card is cut down. All right, we're dead. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, all right, yeah, super dead now. Back it up. Attack. Brutal. I mean, I guess I could have like played it. I could have like attacked and tried to put it on the thing. Yeah, maybe that, maybe that was better. I don't know. Yeah, I should, I, I, I was probably better actually. I probably, I probably punted there. That's on me, I think. Still, it's a pretty big dude, though. I had to burn both of our Thrill Seekers. And now they just attack for a bunch and kill us. Damn. This is a thousand damage. You don't have to. You don't have to attack with the forge. So, like, you just make make the token and put the counters on the token. Yeah, it's a weird. Usually these cards have to attack, but it doesn't, so. Alright, so, uh, we're just super dead, obviously. Here's Worker. What are they at? They're 15? Actually, hold on a second. Are they just dead? We have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, we're one short. Are you serious? Oh, yeah, it's a counter now. Okay, we're good. We should, we've exactly full again. Oh my god, we're so lucky. Where's the sickest? And a Thrill Seeker? Um, yeah, they're just dead as a doornail. Thrill Seeker. Counter up. All right, well, that was just a gimme from our opponent. Right there at one. Why can't I do math? Why can't I do math? Am I, am I, am I stupid? What did I... Oh, I need the fling. I'm oh, I'm just an idiot. I'm so dumb. I'm I'm sorry, folks. I'm just a jackass. All right, let's. let's I, God damn it. Sorry, I just. It's Sunday morning, folks. You know. Sunday morning. Sunday morning magic. My bad. I just thought we had it. I didn't mean to the fling. I forgot. The, I forgot the order of operations there. So we had to fling the thingy. So three, two, my yeah. So we. Uh, Oh, embarrassing. Oh, no. So embarrassing. Who's in charge? Me or the devil? No! That's it. I'm going to clown college. Oops. Oops. Yep. Just like the, the PV match with the, with the Hazard. I was dead on board, right? Just dead on board? It doesn't actually matter, right? They just, kill, they just kill me. All right, so I'll play game three. Whatever, it's fine. We're good. Double four, chance, great keep. We'll twin three up. 
No problem. No problem. Not worried. Just bonus content. Bonus content. Didn't fling through instead. No two drop. Come on, man. Just draw two drop. So you got forge into forge into hammer skull. Double forge in the play is pretty sweet. They had a two drop either. This is great for us. Save our bubble spell against my forge. Love it. Time for a track setting today? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how things are looking. I missed the land drop. Oh, good. I'm glad I missed the land drop. Screw him. I don't like. We're not friends anymore. I don't like them. Ron Smith will be uh, next week. I'm also considering doing a, uh, a special Bronze to Mythic for Cons of Tarkir. I want to hear some opinions on this. Uh, a race to Mythic number one. We'll do it on January 1st. And uh, we'll start at Platinum 4. Like when the ladder resets exactly. And uh, just try and race to, race to Mythic number one. Obviously Cons of Tarkir is not a new set. So it doesn't really need a full Bronze to Mythic run. But kind of a fun thing to try. But I kind of always want to try that. Never had a chance to. So... Alright, put this here. Attack. It's obviously bad sequencing, but whatever. So, what do you think of that? Fun idea? I've also heard cons is a great limited format, too. I played, like, a few drafts, like, a million years ago in the format, but I don't remember it that well, so... Cut down that. Yeah, sure. Awesome. So, just, uh... Free cut down. Ridge Lines is great here. Yep. It's a dinosaur for the, the Hammer Skull, which is insane. It's fine. Not bad at all, honestly. We get Edicted, whatever. Still have the Creature Land. Draw Murex now, too, sure. Fire Bridge Line. Equip it. This is actually like a significant attack, too. So. Do I even kill Liliana? I don't think I do. So I have two things that can't get Edicted, and my hand is irrelevant. I think I just attack them. Screw it. This attack's for 10, you know, it's a lot of damage. Dead on board. Siege Rhino time and cons. Yeah, I mean, that seems fun, so. Alright, what's up, friend? Forge and Creature Lance. Besaju here is uh, not super relevant, but. Glissa Sunslayer. Okay, so Glissa blocks our stuff pretty well. It's kind of annoying. Uh, let's dump Forest. Oh, it's oh my God! Damn, we're good. Warcrafting. Uh, take the untap land. Play it. And yeah, we can't equip, unfortunately, but sure. Do I kill Oleana now? I think I kill Oleana now. Rather than put them to five. Losing. I mean, did they. No, nah, I just like them. Yeah, whatever. Oleana sucks. Um, just have Mirrix untapped. Uh, yeah, I screwed up. You're right. I just missed. Sorry. I miscount my lands. Um, I'm going to besage you their cottage when they Liliana me. Are fetches being introduced into historic now? I hope not. I hope they're pre-banned. We have lethal with the forge and the ridgeline. So just going to hit the cottage here. This gives them a free mana, I guess, but whatever. I think it's worth killing the cottage. Kind of fun to see our deck morph into like this, uh, this you know, um, you know, Ridge Line or Rest Forge deck against the heavier removal decks. Alright, they discard a Rankles Prank. Does seem pretty bad here, not gonna lie. They have shielded. Still fine though, honestly, because we have, we have two lethal attackers, so... 
Uh, we draw. Thrill Seeker. Um, we're going to fire up here. Right, so we fire this up. Because if I go for Thrill Seeker and they just kill the creature in response. Um, that's bad. Yeah, we just jam here, I think. 3-4. Put the Eater of Virtue on it. Hold on. They have Liliana too, so we're going to lose the card in our hand. Do I just fire up the Forge and attack and see what happens? And then I can just post-combat. Yeah, because then they, they either block or kill it. All right, let's do this. Fire up the Forge. Attack for five. They either block with Shieldred or kill it with a removal spell. They kill it. I just kill it with Thrill Thrill Seeker. They block and trade. Awesome. All right, awesome. They're dead. Man. Heater draw steps. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. My mama taught me good. Upstairs. All right. Sick. Just move, got trap, move down, but whatever. Yeah, I'll take it. All right, so um, definitely a long game. That first game took a long time, but uh, definitely an interesting deck. I don't like these Huntsman Redemptions, honestly, but I think the core of this deck is pretty sweet. I wonder if you can hybridize this with the uh, with the Agatha Soul Cauldron decks um, because Soul Cauldron plus Thrill Seeker is just so freaking good. Uh, and like Huntsman just feels out of place here. You can just lower the curve a little bit. Hammer Skull is great. Uh, Firstborn's great. Yearling's pretty good. I like Ruiner, obviously, too. Um, and the Chomp. Chomp should be good, but like obviously in the games we played, it wasn't great. Uh, but that seems cool and worth uh, exploring for sure. So definitely a cool variant on both dinosaurs and the uh, the fling deck. So more to play on stream. You two folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go.